In February, seven-year-old Lily Manson, who lives in the U.S. state of Illinois, learned that a war had started on the other side of the world. I was watching the news with my dad, and, and on the news was um, the war. And I and my dad tried to, you know, turn the channel before I might see, you know, any of that. But I wanted to help. For a few days, Lily wasn't quite herself, recalls her father, Chris Manson. It bothered her enough that at one point, I remember we were having dinner one night, or we were going to sit down for dinner, and we were about to say the blessing before we ate. And, you know, she said, hey, can we pray for the people in Ukraine? Which kind of took me by surprise. It kind of caught me off guard. And then, you know, of course, yeah, sure, we can pray for them. That's great. But thoughts and prayers aside, Lily asked her dad how they could help. He had an idea. He decided to find ambulances that could be sent to Ukraine. His next call was to an ambulance provider in town. His only response was, do you, uh, the only thing he said was, what do you want, gas or diesel? And uh, off it went to uh, Europe and uh, eventually into Ukraine. Every ambulance Manson sends to Ukraine has all the necessary equipment, including cardiac monitors, defibrillators, and various types of traction devices to transport the wounded. On top of that, the ambulances can produce electricity while in motion. To attract funds and donors to his cause, Manson organizes events. Local politicians, businessmen and authorities have even signed the cars that will travel across the world. Signing the ambulance or the fire engine sends a message. When people see that in Ukraine, it lets them know that they're not alone. So far, Manson has visited Ukraine and has managed to send 20 ambulances to the country. He hopes to send 20 more before the end of the year. On top of that, he says he now also sends fire trucks to Ukraine. What is that? That's a sunflower. It's actually, it's actually the, um, the um, natural state flower of Ukraine. He says one day he'll bring Lily to a free and safe Ukraine. For Irina Matvichuk in Illinois, NRI's VOA News.